Yo, welcome to boot camp day. I don't fucking know. Um, but welcome to welcome back to boot camp. Oh, I think this is actually day seven. Congrats, you made it a week after today's video. How has it been? Hopefully you guys are improving. Hopefully you guys have already seen, you know, some improvement on your own psychology, on your own discipline, and then also. As we start getting into the trading stuff, tomorrow we talk about liquidity. Um, so as we start getting into the trading stuff, hopefully we can start benefiting your trading and hopefully some of the beginning, the beginner stuff and some of that base foundation that we talked about, those basics um, have improved your trading as well. Something I've noticed already um, has just been, my trades have been a lot better while making this boot camp. And it's almost reminding me of some things that I forgot about in the past. and. So thank you guys for making me, you know, make even more money in trading. I've been killing it this week. Um, Discord's been eating and yeah, it's just been, it's been great so far. And I love seeing you guys learn um, along with, you know, helping me learn uh, too. It's been great. So today's topic is obviously based more on psychology, right? As you guys know, we go back and forth. Yesterday's video was on um, break of structure. Today we are talking about... Um, Today we're talking about individuality and how you guys should not aspire to be somebody else other than you because every single person has their own opinions on certain things. Everyone's brain is different, right? Um, everyone is their own person and you shouldn't try and copy and paste um, yourself to make it, to, to make someone, to make you something you are not. Okay, so today I want to talk about, you know, like how you can kind of find yourself, how you can find, um, you know, your own, your own uniqueness and your own opinions, your own um, strengths and weaknesses and how you guys can play off of that. Okay, um, and I really do as something that I notice. I don't know any other day trading course that is going this in depth in psychology. And I honestly think this is going to be official. I, I wasn't even thinking of doing this until the day that I started the course. Um, when I made that first video, I was like, you know what? We need to be doing both of these hand in hand because if, if they have the trading aspect, if they have hundreds of videos for trading, but you know, like nothing for psychology, they're still not going to be profitable. So that's my whole thought process about this. Um, and, and hopefully we can, we can learn and we can improve. But today we're going to be talking about individuality. So first of all, we're just going to focus mainly on the trading por portion of it. And then at the end, we can kind of just do like overarching view of like, you know, how, how, how being your own strong, confident individual can help you just in life. Okay. Um, and, and how I've seen it help myself in life. So start off in trading. Let's say, right, I'm your favorite mentor or I'm your role model in the training space, but you don't understand my strategy. For some reason, it doesn't click in your head. You can't, you can't seem to wrap your head around it and it's really difficult for you to understand. However, there's another mentor that you, that you like as well, um, but like I'm like your favorite one, but there's another guy who has a strategy that you understand completely and it works for you. Stop trying to force something that doesn't work just because you have some sort of like attachment or some sort of feeling to it. Um, and that's something really big and it's really hard to do um, to be able to be like, look, I just being able to admit to yourself, I'm not good at this, right? I like, this is something that I am bad at. So what, what do I do? You have to make a change, right? Because you're bad at it. So you can either, you know, either put a little bit more effort into it. But if you've, if you've done your time trying to learn my strategy and you just know, you're like, I just, it, it's too much. I can't understand it. Perfect. That's completely fine. L don't, don't listen to me anymore. Listen to my discipline stuff. Listen to my psychology stuff. It'll help you, but to use a completely just different strategy. Okay. And along with that, if you have, if there's like two different strategies that you have, one of them's mine. Another one is like one that you created on your own, which is what we'll get into. Um, or uh, one of them's mine. And then another one is from another mentor and you kind of like tw twist them together to make it your own. That is what you should be doing. You should be kind of grabbing pieces of strategies that you know and understand, because if you think about it, 
my strategies are all just based off of simple concepts, plugging them into an execution order and then taking the trade. So, right, as we go through this course and as you start learning about liquidity sweeps, break of structure, fair value gaps, order blocks, maybe fair value gaps and order blocks you don't understand, but liquidity you understand and break of structure you, un you can understand those two in itself, you can take a trade off of. Let's say you can only understand order blocks, break of structure, and then also like SMT divergence, which I won't talk about in here because I don't trade it and I don't even know what the fuck it is. Everyone loves talking about it. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Okay. It's something to do with the fucking NASDAQ and my ass crack. Okay. But either way, um, do what works for you. Not, not exactly what like, I'm just, you know, you don't have to, right? If, if you don't understand liquidity sweeps and they've just never clicked for you, don't use them. Remember this, we're trying to make this for you, right? So do what's best for you. Understand that you should not be listening to other people telling you, oh no, this is the only way to trade. There's a million ways to trade. Okay, there's a million ways to trade and there's a million traders that trade a million different ways and a bunch of them are profitable, right? There's a bunch of different ways to trade. So don't think that this course or this strategy in itself is like so locked down, so do, 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 like you must follow every single one of these things or else you will suck. That's not how this is going to work. No, I'm just teaching you what I know about trading, okay? And if you can benefit from that, awesome. And if you don't understand some things, that's okay. Learn from somebody else. Take bits and pieces from my stuff. Mix it together to make your own stuff. Guys, like my Forex strategy, which, uh, which is something that I've been killing so far, like I made that up on my own. That's something that I literally just noticed through, through repetition of me just sitting there every London session on GJ and noticing a fake out. I called it the London session fake out. I literally was like, hey, that's kind of weird. Why the fuck, right when London session opens, it just goes super strong in one direction, but then immediately flips direction. I was like, but it happens every single London session. Why is this happening? And that was pretty much my introduction to liquidity sweeps. So be your own person within this. Don't try and be me. Don't try and be your mentor. Don't try and be any of those people. Be yourself in these markets. Understand that this is a very individualistic thing because if, if, right, I trade my strategy and it works really good for me, right? I'm profitable, but some of you guys are using my strategy and then you're also not profitable, right? And that, that can be a couple things. It can be one, you just not understanding the concepts well enough Two could be, you, you know, you just literally don't have the, the time on the charts yet. You can't fully understand price action or and then three, like you just simply don't understand it, right? It just doesn't work for you, okay? So understand that, know that you're your own person apart from me, even though you're learning from me, understand that it's okay if you can't understand some things that I'm teaching and, and adapt to that, be adaptable, okay? And adapt to yourself and your own needs, not what I'm saying, not, oh, TJR said this, so this is law, right? Understand that you have to be adaptable within your own strategy. Like I see people on TikTok tagging me all the time saying, using TJR strategy in confluence with ICT silver bullet. I don't know what the fuck this silver bullet is. I don't know what that is, but they're making money doing it. They're using part of what I teach and part of what ICT teaches. That's perfect, that's amazing, and it works great for them. So whatever works for you is what you need to be focused on, okay? Focus on your own self within this. This is a race between yourself, okay? This is a a task that's between you and you. Don't, if you're trying to do this with your friends, don't. Do not do this together with your buddies. Make it between yourself and you only. Don't compete with your friends because everyone's learning curve is different. If your friend is like, holy shit, just got my second month profitable and you're sitting here like, bro, like I haven't even had a profitable week, right? That's going to mess up your psychology. That's going to mess up your head. Understand that everybody's learning curve is different. Everybody learns different ways. Everybody understands things differently, right? We all have different brains. We're all our own humans. We're all our own people. So that's something you guys need to understand. And, you know, like apply, apply that individuality and understanding that you're different from everybody else. Apply that to life and to trading, okay? So that's, that's how we can incorporate that into trading. Now let's talk about how we can incorporate that into life. 
This is another thing I see people talking about all the time. I want to be just like TJR. I can't wait to move to Puerto Rico. I can't wait to get a dog that looks like Boogie. No, dude. It, maybe you like that stuff because you like me and, and I'm doing all this stuff. But guys, do what you want. Do what you want with your own life. That's another thing. You sh don't listen to anybody else's opinions. Why? That's like, that's like me walking out, walking out all dressed up, ready for the day, wearing the clothes I think I got a great fit on, right? And then right when I walk outside, two of my friends say, why are you wearing that? That doesn't look good. And then me saying, okay, okay, I'm sorry. And then like going back and completely changing into an outfit that I hate, that only they like, right? That doesn't make any sense, right? Do what you love and do what you like and that will help you build confidence, okay? So, all right, we'll get into this later, but part of the homework is going to be being super, super open about what you love and doing, doing whatever the fuck you want to do and not listening to anybody else for one single day. And I just, and I, it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be very, very difficult because a lot of you guys comply and listen to every single person's opinions from whether it's social media, whether it's just friends, your peers saying stuff, it's all getting drilled in your head that, hey, this is, this is the social norm. You must comply. You must do this. You must do that. Don't listen to that. Be your own human. Be your own self. L learn to love and enjoy life, your own life, right? Don't listen to what these other people are saying. Who wants to live a life where they're constantly afraid of what other people are going to say about them, what other people think about them? That is not a good life to live, you guys. That is a terrible, that's a terrible life to live, okay? So your homework is literally just be yourself and do what you love to do, okay? listen to what anybody else has to say put an out put on an outfit that you fucking love that you feel comfortable you feel you feel happy to be in you feel confident to be in and then also be confident in your own opinion somebody asks you a question and you already know how they feel about that type of topic trust me i've been there before i've altered my answer based off of the type of people that i'm talking to i've done that before do i do that now right? Because I'm confident and I don't care, right? An opinion is opinion, right? Every single person in this world is going to have different opinions on different subjects. And that's just something that we have to come to accept. And the great part about this, you can start teaching people other about other, you can start teaching people about this as well, right? Someone says, how do you feel about this? Or like, just ask you a question and you literally just voice your opinion straight up, just being completely honest. People will one respect you. And then also be like, yo, like, like it, they'll take it as like a sign of confidence. They'll be like, okay, interesting. Like, I guess so. Like that makes sense. Like people will, will respect you for doing this type of stuff. So that's what I want you guys to focus on this. This, this will help build your confidence. And how, how are these small little things that we're just like building on top of just our life, our psychology, our headspace, because you need to have a great headspace, a great mindset in life to benefit in trading because if, you, if you're not if you don't have a good headspace in in fucking mindset in life you will never be able to benefit from trading okay you won't be able to be profitable you won't be able to confidently place a trade because how do you expect to be able to be confident enough to place your own trade right against right every bro there's literally thousands of people you go long there's millions of people going short at that same time okay right you need to be confident in your own decisions with in life to be able to be confident in your own decisions while trading, okay? It, it's directly correlated. Trust me, it is directly correlated. If you are not confident with yourself and how you hold yourself in public in life, you, you it, this, this is not for you. You won't be able to do trading. It, it just quite simply will not work for you if you are unable to, um, if you're unable to be confident in yourself in life, because how do you expect, if, if you can't even wear, the, if you can't even wear the clothes that you want to wear out the door for the day and, and feel the eyes of other people looking at you and potentially judging you, you have to be okay with knowing that, hey, people are going to have others, other opinions than me. And I have to be okay with that and understand that their opinion really does not matter about you because that's just what they think, not what you think. That's what they think. 
And if you are the type of person that needs to comply, that needs everybody to love them, you're not, you're not fit for this. You're not, okay? You're not going to be fit for this whatsoever, okay? You need to build your own confidence. You need to be confident and hold yourself, okay, like confidently. Be able to walk out the door confident in what you're wearing, confident in how you talk, confident in, in, in your goals, confident um, in, in what you do in life, okay? hold yourself up okay be 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 someone that people want to look up to be someone that people want to like will respect right for being able to hold yourself up like that because very few people can do that in this world and the people that do guess where they're at they're fucking loaded they're breaded they're successful why because they're confident in themselves and they took a risk and they took a chance on themselves because they don't give a fuck about what anybody else says you know the people that care the people that care about what everybody else says they don't make it far whatsoever why because everybody else everybody else the social norm guess what what's the what's the normal fucking paycheck that most americans get every fucking year 50k bro do you really want to be society let's be real you want to be the odd one out here and you have to be okay with that and you have to be confident about that you have to understand that people are going to look at you weird and people are going to say questions, make fun of you, okay? And you have to be completely okay with that, knowing where you're going in life and knowing that them criticizing you and them saying that stuff, they're staying right here. While, while you making a change, you're climbing up, bro. You're going higher and higher, way better. And you know what's funny? They're saying that shit about you. They're, they're making fun of you. They're bullying you. You know why? Because they don't have the courage to do it themselves. They're self-conscious about themselves. So what are they doing? They're taking it out on you because they want you. They don't want you to make it. They don't want to see you doing what you actually love. They don't want to see you actually succeeding. No, they want you to be right even with them. They want you to be, hey, be normal. Do this, do that. You're not allowed to do that. Who's to fucking say it? Who's to fucking say that? No one. Exactly. All right, so that being said, a little quick little video for you guys today. All right, your homework, go outside, fucking be confident with yourself, be confident in every single thing you do today. Take a risk today, okay? Go outside and, and fucking get something done, bro. Be productive, be confident in every single decision that you make. All right, so with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We get, we get into more trading stuff. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Oh, and also for your homework, document it document how you felt on that day write down write down how it made you feel when you were when you were being confident okay how did that feel and i guarantee you you guys will feel good You're, you'll probably feel a little bit shitty when people start saying why are you doing that why are you doing that why are you doing this why are you doing that say because i want to because this is what i want to do plain and simple they won't be able to say anything oh he's doing it because he wants to that that's kind of weird i've never heard him say that before exactly make pe make people look at you like what got into him today what got into her today okay so that being said get something done be confident hold yourself with some self-respect do what you fucking want to today and make sure people know that you are doing that and and even strive to get those looks and those comments from people okay strive for that because that means you're you're headed in the right direction Okay, so with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.